Show. I'm Andrea. And I'm Stacy. We're really, I'm not going to say excited because I always <laughs> say that. It's a pleasure to be back with you today. Yes. Oh man, this it's is... a warm day. It's oh, an awesome day. Yeah. It's been nice and cozy outside. It has. It seemed like a long week for me though, but like one long day maybe is how I can describe it. Might have taken a nap in there somewhere yeah. in the last 48, 72 hours. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Oh goodness! It's sweet tea season for it sure. It sure is. Here in oh. the south, are we in the south? I don't think. I mean, we're not the technical south, as in the north versus the south, right? But we are in the south part of the United States. Yes, yeah. I always thought on the latitude longitude. Yes. speaking. Uh, people mm -hmm. that I play PUBG with um, say we're in the South, but I have never said I was in the South. I never considered myself to be, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Texas. Yes. But us no. Yeah. yeah. For us, I think for the rest of the world, it's obvious. Yeah. Cause there's the up here States and the down here yeah. States. But for like those of us familiar with like American or United States of America history, like the true South is Mason Dixon, like Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, yes. all that. Yeah. I think Kentucky. Probably. Yeah, Blue Hills of Kentucky, yeah. What about Central mountains. Louisiana, Mississippi? Yeah, yeah that way. Yeah. The bayou. <laughs> Actually, Louisiana, when the Civil War was going on, it may have still been the Louisiana Purchase because we were still oh, in Indian territory. Was. I don't it's even know what long. states. I don't even know. It's been way too long. Some South Carolina, like, for sure. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> can't draw you a picture of the United States either. That would go wrong. Have you seen those where they have people try to draw the United States? No. Oh, it is hilarious. Or they'll give them a state name mm. and they have to draw the shape of the state. Ooh. Okay. I feel like Oklahoma is a pretty cool shaped state. Yeah. Texas is a pretty cool shaped yeah. state. California is distinctive. But those ones that look like blobs. Yes. Give up on that. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking Just at give up on that. South Carolina to quilt mm -hmm. something with a state shape on there, and I was like, nope, <laughs> you can't Like the do Virginias it. and all those. Yeah. I mean, even if it was a rectangle, that would be helpful because it would it's be. It's so recognizable to them because they see it all yes. the time. For the rest of us, it just looks like a block. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> might be Idaho, might be Montana. No, those are the box states, actually. Yeah. Those, I mean, even I can draw I can the Great Lakes. Geometrics. Oh, you can? Yeah. It's it like a good. maple leaf kind oh, of yeah. in a weird way. Not really yeah. at all. Not at all like that. But in my mind, that's what I reference it to. Nice. So I can do that. But I can't draw the states mm -hmm. that border it. I can do Canada oh, pretty wow. well. <laughs> See? <laughs> that was in Alaska. so good. That was so good. <laughs> Drawn to scale. <laughs> no. Can't do it. So uh, yesterday, Jeff comes in and he is not happy at our cat. Aww. He put his foot down. He's sitting in a chair and he had his leg crossed. He put his foot down, I guess, and it touched something furry and he thought it was a kitten. So he rubbed his foot on it and it was a headless squirrel. <laughs> so but it was still soft. That's the thing. The third squirrel, two birds, and I didn't tell you this, a couple days ago, she threw up a 12-inch garden snake. And the only reason she threw it up, I think, is because first, she like, a, a thing of food came out, mm -hmm. like this tubular shape of food, mm -hmm. and then the snake. So I think... The, it was blocking. Yeah. 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 Lucky well, so. she got it up. Yeah. I just cleaned up a giant hairball on the bed in there. Ooh. Nice. It's all dried out. It's probably there for days. <laughs> This is the extra bedroom. Yeah, it's like, upstairs. It's not, yeah. I only come upstairs to actually do, do this. this. Yeah. And that's once a week. Yeah. Uh, you know, the get, I had Dean buy me a Ferminator today. Oh. That dog brush thing, you yes. know, that gets the undercoat and everything. Because yes. like you, I have a dog that, you know, sheds. And... Uh, I've always, I sent him to Walmart with the picture and showed him the aisle I was in to go get it. Because yeah, every time I, I go, I see a cheaper version and I end up getting that. And then I've never been happy with any of the knockoff versions. Right. 
So he went and got the actual Furminator, and it worked great. Oh, interesting. I should have just got it years ago. Yeah, I've, I've done things like that before. Bought mm -hmm. the cheaper version, and by the time I got done buying the three or four yeah. cheaper versions, I could have bought the yeah. right version twice over. Yeah. It, um, so Clementine, I mean, she was a good sport about it, but ne my next is Butters. He doesn't really self-groom that oh. well. Male cat. And so I've, I've got to get a hold of him and get that. That'll be fun. Fur off. Oh, yeah. He loves cuddling. <laughs> With his claws. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So this weekend, we, um, uh, my list of 44 things that I want to mm -hmm. get done by May. Um, we painted a mural outside and the top is gray the bottom is blue and then there's a big pink dot sounds very simple and it is and but the blue you know rolls a little and the the pink is the pink moon mm. so turner helped me paint it turned That's out exciting. really nice it's a big outdoor area yes so it's like an outdoor by the fire pit yeah right? it's mm -hmm. like by your fire pit and yes you guys spend a lot of time out there yeah in the summer so it's kind of nice to have a out of all the things that I wanted to put up there, mm -hmm. um, I was limited because of the stucco-ish yeah. texture. It was just not no gonna, detail. Yeah. It wasn't going to happen. Um, but uh, when I realized I could put a pink moon, I was like, yay, we're going to do it. And that's commemorative because we had a pink moon this mm -hmm. year. So, Yep. In 2020, but a better time to put up a mural, man, to remember. remember the moon by. Mm -hmm. The other project that I did was um, another thing on my list was I wanted an outside sink yes. and I have two metal well it's one but it's dual uh, wash tubs that would have had uh -huh. the crank to run your clothes through you yeah. know we've had that for years and we always put it out with ice in it and drinks when people come mm -hmm. over and um, in the winter it just gets flipped upside down so you it know, doesn't get water yes. snow, all that. Um, so I decided I could get a water hose um splitter mm -hmm. you know one of the brass ones and so i could have a water hose on one side and then i was just going to screw pipe and do a straight pipe up with a little over and a faucet yeah. brass faucet so i buy um all of this stuff and i get home and the pipe coming out of my house is half inch i bought three quarter i guess three quarters typical so also it has a 90 degree the pipe comes out with a 90 degree because they're, you know, the faucet that's there yeah. now. And um, you can't unscrew that 90 degree because it hits the concrete. I don't know how they did that. Uh, they obviously poured the concrete after mm -hmm. they put that pipe in there. So we tried busting off some of the concrete. That was not going to work. Um, so I left the 90. When I went to the lumber yard, they had to cut me a pipe and thread both ends. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I thought I said three foot, but I ended up with a four foot pipe. So it's four foot pipe plus the little piece of pipe it took to be able to attach. You know, you have to go from half inch to mm -hmm. three quarter. So I had to do that. That took up about this much room. So it's like three and a, or four and a half foot tall. A little taller than that, probably. So, so when I'm standing there, it's a there, convenient height. <laughs> For many things. <laughs> yes, I can put a five-gallon bucket in the sink to yes. fill it. And a small child. Yes, I could probably bathe in it, to be honest. So, and Turner's like, you know, it looks perfect, perfect height for him. But So it's kind of funny. You turn the corner, and uh, there's this, like, <laughs> pipe. And like you said, like, it could be a shower now. Well, dang, I should have made it taller to make it a shower because that would have been nice, Still could. Too. Still could. <laughs> so, God. um. I need to get some of those pavers to put under the legs so mm, that it doesn't just sink. soak, soak, sink. Yeah, sink in. Yeah. I'm going to have a high water bill this year. Not from watering plants, from watering my granddaughter. Oh, I didn't think yeah. about that. I remember those days. I've decided that I'm going to have to just get one of those. They have those, like, misters that you can just, like, stake yes. into the yard. I need one of those. So to put out water and she can run through it. But it won't like flood the backyard. Yeah, we have well, well watered grass in one spot. Yes. Yeah. I 
I always bought those little round ones that have the holes in them, mm-hmm. and it only shoots the water up like this high, and that was enough. And then they came out with this. It was called Silly Something, and it was like a ball, but it had these plastic mm-hmm. tubes that came off where you yeah. turn on his hair would go crazy. Yeah. We have a, it's a, a water worm or water bug, whatever they call it. It puts out more water than just the hose. water hose. Oh. Because you have to have the pressure up so oh, it, like, wiggles we'll around. Yeah. Otherwise, it just kind of hangs there and drains. That's no fun. No. If I had one of those things that, like, recycled water, <laughs> that's ingenious. Those water, pa- you know, yes. things that they do. Yeah. That was well thought out there, actually. Yeah. Just some things to sort out. And I've got to figure out where I'm going to put her pool. Because she wants the big, the bigger pool, and um, really, I don't do this to like spoil her. I watch her, so it's for my convenience. Because yes. <laughs> if that'll buy me an hour, that'll buy me a yeah. couple hour. You know, like yeah. a busy time, it's worth it. Plus, if you splash around, she's a little older now, but when they were little, we could let them play in the pool, and they'd sleep for an hour, solid hour nap. So yeah. you could feed them, and they'd go to bed. Yeah. I'm going to move the greenhouse, I decided, and oh. go ahead and move it out to the other, oh, sure. other place. Oh, sure. That makes sense. We're done seed starting. Yeah. So, um, and if we have to do any, you know, we could do them out there. Uh, so I'll have that area. Nice. And I think that'll be the Yeah, that's spot. level, so yeah. why not? <laughs> we planted all of our, well, I say that, we planted a lot, but not everything. I'd like my peppers to get a little bit taller but I think they're at this weird stage of I've planted them too deep in the the mm-hmm. little seed starters that I think they're kind of grown as far as they're going to happily there yeah so I may have to put them out yeah and let the I, it's supposed to mm-hmm. storm tonight everyone keeps saying it's supposed to be really bad there's supposed to be a cold front come through and create problems but it doesn't, of course, It's it would be a springtime storm, but it doesn't look like it's going to storm outside. Mm-mm. So I don't know. I haven't watched the news since last night, to no. be honest. I heard the only thing I caught when was it's not one coming up from the south. It's coming from the north. It said, like, yeah. the thunderstorm would be, like, up here at this time, in the city at this time, and then down here at this oh, time. okay. So it's That's coming. That's the way the cold front was coming yeah. when I watched that part of it. Yeah. I I don't so maybe it's just chances of storms popping up along the way. Yes, One I of think those. so. I'm not so at it's work, a may or may so not. I don't know what the weather's actually going to do. You don't from have all your hour. all your weathermen, like, <laughs> and they're usually correct. So there's mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I am appreciative of our weather aware people. Oh yeah, that let you know. Oh, roses. Oh, th- yes, yeah. and they're beautiful. Everybody's, like. all this, must be perfect rose weather because everyone's rose bushes are yes. putting on like crazy. And these are some of the ones from the yard. There's like this pink one that has little leaves that curl back and look pointy. And then that pink one, and that pink one, and that pink. These are like the single roses, the old antique rose type things, which are actually my favorite. And then that real pretty yellow one. So They're beautiful. I thought I would share. Because yes. they won't be there forever. No. <sighs> yeah. Do they smell, have a fragrance? That yellow one smells great. My turn. The other two, the other ones I could pass uh, on, but the yellow one smells good. Granny used to have a, um, you know, when like lapel pins were popular, mm-hmm. she had a rose that was um, velvety petals yeah. and a, a gold stick and it smelled just like that. Oh wow. It was just straight rose. I guess we can put a rose in Sophia's hair. Yes, I think we today. should. This should probably stick into that moss quite nice. Yay. That's pretty. Yes. <laughs> we love oh oh we love Sophia. We do. <laughs> I uh have been attempting to play 
PUBG the last few nights, and I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden I got really bad. Really? Yeah. Just distracted or not focused or... I don't know. They change things? I don't I don't know if there's just better players on maybe more often now. So the people you're coming up against are better. Like, yeah. They're like th- we've had a couple of organized teams that have you know if you have a full Move team in like SWAT. <laughs> yeah, you can flank and things mm-hmm. and these teams flanked us. And we knew they were, and there was nothing we could do. We had a team behind us, and they were in front of us. And it was like I should – because they – two guys in front, two guys, on one on each side. I should have been able to pick them off. Mm-hmm. But, man, yeah. I'm like – I'm frustrated <clears throat> with my play, like, stupid stuff. Like, if you just get killed, you get killed. But um, I feel like other people are getting frustrated, too. <laughs> just a game folks. it is just don't a game. take it so serious but you expect sort of a normal like you know mm-hmm. i don't know does your player zone out and just standing there yeah, sometimes like, like, Shit. Shit. <laughs> i'll be running and and i'll be told that i'm like in a rock because i just run into a rock and she can't work her way around it unless i guide her so mm-hmm. You know, like, when you pick your people's outfits, mm-hmm. and they're sitting there to, like, this, yes. and then you're picking different things? Yes. A lady, it wasn't TikTok, it was just some other video I came across, was doing quarantine outfits, and she was, like, sitting there doing this, and then her outfits would Which, flash and uh, change from, like, a robe to, like, mismatched stuff, fantastic. like, business, like, it was funny. I thought it was cute. Oh, I have to look that up. Yeah. Funny. I've been watching a lot of Tic Tac, shameless Tic Tac, Tic Tac. See, Tic Tac. My mind's not even with me right now. <laughs> like it's known for been... Tic Tac comments. <laughs> <laughs> World famous on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! It's all good. I'm zoning out now. I am too. I just stared at the mic. Y'all like, still out there? <laughs> Dead air. Dead air. No. We didn't have a manager in the corner going, guys, guys. Track. I <laughs> wish we did. We would never pay attention to it, though, I feel like. i probably but turn on him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said in a minute. <laughs> I'm getting there. Yeah. <laughs> It wouldn't go well. No one would want to work with me. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't want to work with me. Yeah. Uh Uh-uh. Well, I'm enjoying our transition into warmer, sunnier days and things opening up. That's nice. We'll just time stamp that, that, you know, for just history's sake on our podcast there. Yeah. And say that this week, you know, people are cutting hair again. I got to take Kimber up to the park because they finally opened the playground oh, back nice. up and uh, just kind of returning to easing into normal. Yeah, town is packed. Uh, Turner and I went and picked that table up today mm-hmm. and went and got Taco Mayo and there were lines everywhere. Mm-hmm. It was like if you had a car, you were out in it, which was really weird. Um, that so many were driving because you'd get summer at work so you expect parking lots to have employee cars but man it was busy today yeah. it officially opened back up here what Friday the 27th mm-hmm. um, slow rolling it in yeah. of course but uh, and I think May 1st which is Friday there's supposed to be some things open opening. back up mm-hmm. yeah the shop is gonna yeah. open on the 4th that's um, Monday, of course, yeah. So it's Monday instead yeah. of, like, Friday or whatever. No, who's not really opening? Who, uh, well, the mayor's office? No. Oh. Norman. Oh. They wrote their own laws, and now they have a new, you know those dumb, I'm sorry, they were all dumb names people were coming up with about shelter in place. Yeah. Uh, all those things. They have a new one. I forget what it's home called. Home is safer. It's like less dangerous at home or or something like that. Like, And with all their new, I wish little rules and guidelines and stuff really 
would help. Yeah. But it's just getting stupid. So. Yeah. Um, Are you either going to jump in the water or you're just going to stick your toes in the edge? It's one or the other. It's life. we got to go on at some point. I haven't posted anything on social media about it. Um, I did take, well, that's not true. I did take pictures mm -hmm. every time I had to stand at a little sign or an X mm -hmm. on the ground just to kind of document it for myself. I didn't say anything. I just took the picture posted yeah. um, of my feet next to the tape or the mm -hmm. sign. And then you sent me that video. And it was the, all this woman did was quote the news mm -hmm. and how contradictory it was. And she did an excellent job. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> I posted that. No one liked it. No one commented on it. It was like it doesn't exist. So I thought about that because people it's always, taboo. well, that's what Sully said. Or he, they blocked it. I think it was shadow banned. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Yeah. Anything mocking anything like Twitter, who is Facebook, who is Instagram, let's not even pretend like yes. those are all different things yeah. anymore. WhatsApp, all that. We've all seen the connections yes. there. So they've decided that they would filter things um, yes. to lessen the impact of misinformation. Well, and to also So put weird, out I thought we lived in America, but I guess yeah. not. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's it. My, because I have a bunch of new to Facebook but older people on my mm -hmm. Facebook that literally just like anything that pops up and they would have liked it not even had watched it mm -hmm. so it, it it's very strange that it got zero um, it would have shown you it got views yes. you know like even if no one well, wanted to yeah, like it should have I think yeah that's yeah and you know what? They own those things, and if we want to play their game, I guess we it's free enterprise, so they yes. can set the standard for what that. What I should have done is screen recorded <clears throat> it and yeah. put it on as my own because it would have been harder to tra track that way because all of the numbers would have been associated yeah. with my phone. They've got that thing device. pegged to the yes. shares, no doubt. Yeah. No doubt. So now I've been exploring new search engines. I'm about to kiss Google goodbye. Yeah, Google's rough, man. Um, and, in fact, it's one of those companies you're like, hmm, maybe they'll just open up in China because it's kind of what you are. Well, they are in China. In fact. Well, it's being ran by Chinese yeah. nationals who are jumping out their windows, killing themselves. What's that the, about, Google? The, um, the movies that are put out are mm -hmm. made for the Chinese audience, and we're mm -hmm. second thought, like Transformers, you know, all of those. They take out different things in movies, so mm -hmm. they create a whole new movie um, over there, or they just make it straight with their mindset and don't have things in it. And we watch the same movie, but mostly they're, you know, they edit them. Um, but they make most of their money over there, mm -hmm. from what I read in an article. This is not my guess. Yeah. This is just an article. I can't tell you what article it was. Mm -hmm. um, and then Google searches. I found Kim Young. Kim Jong Un. Yes, Kim mm -hmm. Jong Un. Mm -hmm. um, somebody made. You a, found him because he's, he's been missing. He's Where missing. is he? Is he alive? Did you talk to him? Well, he said no. he was fine, guys. <laughs> I um, saw like Babylon. It says like Trump or um, North Korea says uh, Kim Jong Un is the most alive person, or the most alivest person ever, or something like that. It was great. The uh, um, somebody made a Facebook page. As him, oh, I've got to just, I just want to watch you look through this page because it's, it's him, like, there's a picture of him on the phone with all his guys in suits behind him mm -hmm. at a desk, and the words read, um, yes, President Trump, I've got some information on the North Korean leader, and then the next picture is all of them laughing with their heads thrown back and the phone hung up. <laughs> That's it. Like, they're exactly my humor. And, um, yeah. That's great. I like it. I think I've got him figured out. I've been thinking about it. We know his sister's, like, you, do you remember that um, He-Man, Master of the Universe, like, movie they made she with wrote. Courtney Cox? Yeah. When she, you know, yeah. like, and that key synthesizer thing, whatever that was about. You know what I'm talking about, right? Well, like, finally, like, they're, the bad side's coming to, like, retrieve the um, key, and, like, evil Lynn comes, and that is what my brother and sister still call me to this day, but 
that's like the Kim Jong Un's sister. Yes, she's the the one. Yes, you know. Yeah, if he's dead, I mm-hmm. I think that you're right. She probably. And you know how he's like all into basketball, and everybody that goes over there meets him says he's really a nice guy. You know, well, like him personally. Yeah. I'm wondering how how naive is it to think that he actually runs that country? He does not. Well, he's a fi- public figurehead by a small group of people that run I that country. I wonder too if he thinks mm-hmm. what he sees every day like you know mm-hmm. his military all if, that facade if, if he thinks, thinks real. that's real that's what i'm if thinking. that wasn't put if that i used to think that was put on for our benefit yeah. like they were trying to you know show we've, off or we've whatever. seen those movies to where like that uh jim carrey movie where he grows up and it's like all a, a reality show and his the environment is controlled yeah so it makes sense that when he came in power so young and all that stuff, you know, it may take a while to catch on and really see how the game's played. And I'm guessing if you don't play the game, then oh, yeah. you're out. They'll get somebody who does. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. And. But North- I don't know. I mean, uh, he has to be. You can still be nice and be evil. Yeah. I mean, so. Yeah, I, I'm just saying the actions go against the nature people claim yes, that he has. Yeah. So where is the, you know, crossover? I'm thinking it's because it's just like the queen, right? You're a figurehead. Yeah. You're not really in power. Yeah. Which goes back to the behind the scenes people, the the 1% of the 1%. You know that really control the world, and um, you know I get I get amused at how people want to track down the uber wealthy and try to get them to pay for this and say they should pay for that yeah. and everything. Chasing the money is not going to get you anywhere. If you want to find power, if you want to find control, look whose names are on deeds of land, who established buildings, who's on boards of trustees, the power companies. You know. The money trail will just be a loop, yeah, a circle. Yeah, because lots of people, it's not yeah. like it used to be with money. If you had a lot mm-hmm. of money, then obviously yeah. you're the one in charge. It, it still yeah. is, but there's so many more people with lots mm-hmm. of money yeah. that it's harder to distinguish who actually has control of what. Mm-hmm. Um, used to, you know the biggest house in town, probably own the most yeah. land and the most cattle. It's or, like, and look, I mean, celebrity houses, like in old Hollywood. Yeah. It was... It was a lavish lifestyle, but I would say by today's standards, even our middle class standards, it was a modest lifestyle. Yeah, for a lot of They them, had a pool yeah. and went to some parties and yeah. stuff. And now um, the I astronomical I wonder when that amounts, transition was that they started building those big houses in the hills. Because there were a few mansions back uh-huh. then. But I mean, like like what we have today, when did that start? The, the 70s? The 80s. The 80s? Yeah. The 80s, it was the birth of the McMansions. Gotcha. Those awful, awful things. McMansion. That we've now just downsized like the Big Mac Jr. and try to replicate yeah. in like small town American. Yeah. That also needs to stop because no one's oppressed, impressed when they drive by the huge house like that's surrounded by those god awful white fences <laughs> and they they were trying. We was secretly all show? think the same thing what? about you. We just don't Dallas. say it out loud. It's oh. like they all tried to be Dallas, right? You know, I can't drive by a house like that except for thinking, who's cleaning that? Who the hell are yeah. you? Yeah, and you know you can't really like. In I would assume, once it has been decorated, it stays that way for a long time because who could really just. You know, roll yeah. that with the times. I mean, it's, even my house does because I'm lazy. Well, but here's the thing. Normal people like us, because I think we represent average. Yeah, sure. Um, My house, probably, if you look at it every five years, there's different things. You know, I have one or two knickknacks I can replace, and it yeah. changes the whole thing. Yeah. I can change my curtains and... Boom, like yes. if I put gray curtains with chevron, I'd be all modern, you know. And I might do little changes yes. like that as the decades unfold. Those you would have to, yeah, all of that. I mean, can you imagine? No, I can't. No, 
Just to I can't paint imagine. the walls in a house yeah. that size would be yeah. insane. And then they've ingrained into the architecture, they have date stamped it with a lot of like the styles like we were talking about like the open floor plan floor, floor plans, plans and all that yeah and, and things it will it would be Ooh, you know what i ordered hmm. i was watching snapchat videos because that's what i do and there was a commercial that popped up and you know the clean stuff that i've been wanting that you have i think in up here yeah the that. window clean well they were showing um and you know i used to have about 15 crystals hanging in my window in the back mm -hmm. and i took them down to paint and never hung them back up and i missed my rainbows that mm -hmm. would move across the floor and the wall back yeah. there well th they were showing rainbows coming from this window and i was like what is that it was clean oh so I, yeah right so i ordered nice. um it's you're not supposed to be able to see through it um but I'm super stoked because the window that the house is kind of right next to me, there's no fence there. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm always scared because the curtain gets yeah. bumped by the dog or whatever. Yeah. Um, and it's like a fishbowl mm -hmm. um, when the curtains are open. So I'm going to do the bottom half of all the front windows. And if I have enough, I'm going to do the doors. That would be awesome. Just because keeping a curtain on there, I yeah. tried that with the magnet things because it's it a metal door. And shuts and like they it, fall yeah. off and scare everybody. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And then um, if there's enough left, I'm gonna do. You know, the breakfast room has like those. It's not 32 windows, but it feels that way. Five, mm -hmm. seven windows, little ones. If there's enough left, I'm gonna do the bottom of those too. That would be Because it's on the same side of the mm -hmm. house. That'll so look I'm great. super stoked. That'll look great. Yeah, and it was like, I think, five, three rolls of five foot by three foot for $13. That's not bad at all. That's what I thought. I went ahead yeah. and bought two rolls just to make sure mm -hmm. that I wasn't short somewhere. That's real exciting. Should be more than enough. I like that stuff. Me too. It's, it's nice. It's worked well up here been getting a lot of alerts for Owasso, so it must be. St oh, storm-wise? Mm -hmm. I had to turn that off, finally. It just drove me nuts. That and my Seattle Seahawks update. I turned it back on for, um, they just did the their picks, you know, so I wanted to know who they picked. I watched the first day uh, two of our OU players went to Dallas, so that's kind of exciting. One went to Dallas's rival, so that's not exciting because you want to root for them all three, but it's hard. Yeah, because one of them will win and one of them won't is how it'll come out. But um, I mean, that's how it always comes out. I could, I could be mm. a, I could talk about sports because that's all they do is they talk in circles like that. Yeah. The basic system of sports is that you have a winner and a loser. So one of them's gonna win and one of them's mm -hmm. not. <laughs> Guaranteed every time. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's a tie. And then we'll go into overtime. Or forfeit. Or forfeit. Or cancel your entire sports season because <laughs> of a virus from China. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, funny. Gonna get a little bitter eventually. I yeah. see it coming. Yeah, I am too. I see it coming. When I won't, you, you know, I'm late to the draw about emotions sometimes, mm -hmm. but um, it hasn't. When I start seeing people lose their homes, could be me. Mm -hmm. uh, when you start seeing people lose their homes and um, not be able to keep their car because they just don't have a job anymore. It doesn't matter at that point if they save three to six months to yeah. live on. Um, <clears throat> there's if, if you've worked your way into a company, even just two years, you make more money than, than the starting yes. person. Yeah. Um, or if that company completely closed, you know, are you, let's say you baked cakes for the mm. last 15 years or had a flower shop for the last 40 years, or a quilt shop, yeah. and that was your company, and you ha had a couple of three employees, mm -hmm. and now you can't recoup the loss because 
you yeah. you know you're behind on rent now or whatever it mm-hmm. is you've t- you've got to decide am I tapping my savings am I going to get a loan is it going to pick back up in a small town our size which is the norm for the mm-hmm. United States so um, that person has worked for themselves for let's just say 10 years baking cakes for themselves where mm-hmm. are they going to go in Chickasha to get a job that brings in what that brought in no it won't be there any job i don't even mm-hmm. mean a baking cake job i mean you know they would have to be upper or mid management at a walmart or something and you don't get to just walk in and do that i don't think i have a little bit of embitterment building towards all these groups that are saying And I'll just sum it up because everybody has their own point. They're basically saying, don't worry about the economy. Let's worry about lives. Yeah. Well, you're not the one that's thinking about jumping in front of a bus. Right. Because you don't want to go home because you found no work that day. Or because you have life insurance. You're not the one that is not able to feed your kids. You know, I have never been in that position. And I... And the thing is, we put ourselves in that position as a blindly society. and yeah. willingly, yeah. believing what we're told. Yeah, even financially, um, you know, there are definitely people who live beyond their means. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. um, and buy a new car every two years and n- can't can't pay for it. They're paying huge amounts of interest and. Um, you know, the, we all could live more simply, myself definitely included, um, but we all bought into that too, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, we, it's ingrained in us, I -hmm. think, you know, um, work hard so you can have a better life. A better life has been defined by success, which equals money which is shown by a nicer neighborhood or a nicer car or a nicer vacation or whatever but you know if Jeff could which he is going to be working from home I think he's going to go up two days a week till the transition's good. completely That's made good. um nothing is set in stone yet but yeah. um oh, sorry the the if the kids weren't at home I would sell our house and get an RV, a nice one that's, you know, a Mm -hmm. newer one, um, because they're like $250,000 or whatever, and get internet in it. They probably have internet in them like cars do. I don't know. Yeah, built in Wi-Fi, all that stuff. And then Jeff could literally work. um, From anywhere. Yeah, and we could travel from Wednesday to Sunday, Mm -hmm. and hell, I could be in the parking lot, um, while he's at work at the, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. all of these things have opened up in my mind on how you can do life different now. Um, now, do I want to live in an RV? No, I don't want to live the rest of my life in an RV, but the foreseeable um, next five to seven years, it wouldn't be awful. But for some people, and I don't think we were hit hard where we live with the restrictions of staying home and not no. being able to go places. no. Like some parts of our country, other parts of the world. Yeah. But we were all essentially locked in the prison we built for ourselves. Ourselves. Yeah. And it blows my mind how many people are not happy to be there. I have been elated to be home. I've been doing doing things that didn't cost money. Some of those things did cost Mm -hmm. money, I will say that. But they weren't necessities to be done. They were things that I had been wanting to do. It wasn't like, oh, I'm bored. What am I going to do today? Paint a mural? No, this has Mm -hmm. been, in May, it will have been a year since I wrote down that I wanted to do it. And I wanted to do it for 15 years and never did it. Um, But being at home with with the garden and the dog and my husband and my kids, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm in heaven there. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, I, now if I were home alone and in California and there was no one else in my house, that might make me a little crazy just because 
I, I'm the per, I'm the type of person that needs to talk mm. to people, see people. Um, Jeff would be absolutely fine in that scenario, especially with FaceTime and um, all of mm. those options that he would have. He would rather talk to people like that than yeah. in person. Anyway, sometimes I think I have I have to have space to breathe. Yeah, but what I'm saying is it's interesting that pe- people are so not happy being at home all across the board all levels of of living mm-hmm. all types of houses all sorts of income we're i'm taking out the fear factor of not knowing you know about yeah. the job or money or that sort of thing just flat not happy <laughs> it's not that they're not happy to be around the people they're around their family it's they're just not happy mm-hmm. <clears throat> I think that's why people argue at night, because in the daytime, you're at work, you're busy, things are on your mind, you come home, and then you don't have anything to distract you. I think that's why people sit in front of the television after they get off work to unwind, and then that becomes a habit, and I think that's when arguments, you haven't seen somebody all day long, and you come home and argue, I, you know... I used to be that person, so I know what I'm talking about. It's because that's when the day would get quiet, and you'd have to listen to yourself Mm -hmm. and see yourself for who you were. And if you know if you're not happy, then that tends to make you lash out. Yeah, at those closest to you. Yeah, it's easily done too. You're in the thick of it before you realize, you know, and stepped off into that. Yeah. I'm trying really hard to be a better steward of my my days and my time. You know, I'm trying to tell myself when I feel like I need to relax to just do it. Yeah. And if that means doing nothing, then I, I sit there and I do nothing and, not and I feel enjoy guilty it. About it. But if it means getting up to get things done, I'll do that too. Yeah. So I'm trying. I'm letting myself like dream again, you know. Oh. Because instead of just following the path I was on, now I'm like, I need to make sure I'm on the path I want to be yeah. on and question some things and maybe do That's some things different. That's what I've been different. doing. <clears throat> yeah. I just, uh, I don't know. It was a nice reset for people, mm-hmm. for relationships, for nature, yeah, for the planet. And it was a global reset. Mm-hmm. Those just don't happen. It usually takes war for a reset to happen in my opinion there's nothing so good that happens that there's not a reset i mean um you could say um you know time was changed when christ you know Mm -hmm. rose from the dead and we have bc 80 but um i don't uh that would be the only time I can think of that it was a global reset that rippled through and affected the flood. Everyone. Yeah. Being, you know, in the Bible, yeah. like it washed everything away. Yeah. And this is, but people didn't, but I, I don't think that, that that was, that they absolutely had choice. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying, but, um, that was over for them. Mm-hmm. We are having an opportunity here to do better. To choose. Yeah. And to choose. Um, it's globally and we to do not, better. We were, sorry for shifting so much, but I'm in pain. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm going to knock out my feet up. My giant elbows. Uh, how, why it, social media has been the best bait for the largest m- mousetrap ever set for humanity and um it is so easy to sell your soul to it but it is that's good also balanced so to speak that chaos with nature life the breath of god that is the nature that you see essentially um that life force it's out there and it's putting on a show (laughs) it's been a beautiful spring it's been unusual with some weather and stuff in places and that always comes and goes but step outside and unplug while you have the chance yeah yep 
It's relaxing. You know they're opening up four more um, highways, so to speak, for the internet. Not making what we have faster, which they can do, especially in our area, but actually opening up four more. It said four times the highways, so um, they wouldn't do that if they didn't foresee a reason to maintain it. To limp through this for a few weeks would not justify the cost of flipping that switch. Um, mm -mm. So I'm, I'm curious, very curious. Yeah. It's going to be different. It is going to be different. It's going to be different. I wrote a note and a birthday card to a niece of mine, and I put on there to always question the narrative and never just believe what you're told. <laughs> we all have minds, and that is more powerful than any information feed. Well, that's how new things are discovered, right? If, mm -hmm. if I go hiking with somebody, I was like, oh, there's nothing in that cave. Well, if they're experienced hiker, I, I can go along with that because I'm trying to get mm -hmm. to where I want to go. But I'm going to mark that cave in my mind. I'm going to do some research. And then if I don't have sufficient enough evidence to prove that what I was just told was true, I'm going to go into that cave and see for myself. Mm -hmm. And either way, I know where I discover something new. So and that's and a, an assumption on their part that what they're saying is there was nothing that interests them. So well, there that's what I was going to say because you. you may find a brand new lizard in there that no mm. one else has ever seen before. Mm. So it it's all perspective, mm. man. And you take the information in and then create questions based off of that because if you're not questioning, <coughs> what and are one you? thing, I'm just gonna jump out there down into your rabbit hole and I'll apologize to you now. Okay, I'm with you. It's been sung and it's been said and technology has proven from the telephone or the telegraph to the telephone to the railways to the highways. The byways. <sighs> yeah, to the skyways. Mm -hmm. The waterways that it's a small world after all. And we're supposed to take that in in our brains and we're supposed to believe that everything we see is everything that there is I hypothesize that perhaps this world is a much bigger place than we know and that there's much more that surrounds us and I think that there are places that are good and I think there's places that are bad but if you listen to the Holy Spirit and follow that path I think there's some place really good for for our, I agree with that for those people that that will go down that are willing to go down that path and um, like like you mean that something really good <clears throat> you don't mean money no you mean um, a realization mm-hmm yeah. My hair is bothering me. I'm sorry. I'm fidgeting. I like your hair. Thank you. I do too, but it's sticking to me. And I'm not even sweating. It's just my hair is trying to become one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say one day when the ice caps melt, <laughs> the song will be, it's not a small world after all. <laughs> yeah, we should write that now and get it out there. Mm -hmm. Because I was thinking the other day, they're talking about, you know, you live what you've been told, what you've been told, what you've yeah. been told, what you've been told. And I'm like, that song and that, pers all technology has been, the from reach out and touch someone with Southwestern Bell to all that, it's all about trying to tighten the circle. Yeah. Even the tagline for, you know, this COVID thing is, we're all in this together. Yeah. You know, well, maybe what all we see is not all that there is. And maybe... Just like in Horton Hills of Who, you know? Yeah. Maybe there's something else out there. There has to be. This can't be it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the universe. And the debated question, is the earth round? Is it flat? Is it this? Is it that? Well, you can tell me what you think. 
but I can't prove one way or the other. So my mind will be open. Yeah. Until prove <laughs> proven otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. My mind's always open, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. I mean, I, it's not because I'm a human, but um, I try to make sure that if I'm going to, if I feel like the door slamming mm -hmm. to stop it and open it yeah. back up because... Stick your toe in yeah. there real quick to leave a little wiggle room. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we live in a, what are they trying to do, simulation theory? It's oh no, really big now. That's ridiculous because that means we would be reliant on technology, you know, from the beginning of whatever time was, and that's just asinine. But I do believe things are always not quite what they seem. Well, it's, it's like that article I sent you um, on that tribe who had never seen the color blue mm -hmm. it wasn't that they didn't see a color blue it was that they had never seen the color blue mm -hmm. and that blows your mind they had no word for that color when they were shown that color mm -hmm. so um, what's more interesting is when we're told this is a boundary that's a boundary mm -hmm. and we can't see past it because we've been shown maps and things that have nothing but boundaries so we assume that that map is right because we were taught off of it mm -hmm. we know for a fact that maps aren't drawn properly whoever drew the map and what i mean by whoever not the person but the king or the queen or whoever did mm -hmm. it um would draw their area larger on the map and mm -hmm. if you, s you know, when we, when our, our minds were all blown, when we realized how big Africa really is, mm -hmm. you know, or how close Russia really is, like, you know, you don't, mm -hmm. um, cause your mind takes you one direction. Yes. You follow those flight paths. So yeah. to speak. you've got to go here to here to here to here to get to here. Yeah. When reality, I think Putin showed you could connect it all yeah. with not very many miles of right. track. Yeah. Literally, he, you know, when was it? In 2010? Mm -hmm. Something like that? Yeah. He uh, was pushing to have a railroad built <clears throat> across uh, the Alaska and the Antarctic, mm -hmm. and it would go all the way to Mexico. One railroad, of course, it would have splinters off to get mm -hmm. to different places, but... You could, you could go could from Russia to Mexico by train. Yes. Which I wondered... <laughs> Do you remember when they have, and they still do, in like Pan America, they have all those Russian tanks right now? Because yes. they were having the parade, yes. like down. How did, how did he get, get them there? there? I, mean, I mean, I always thought by boat, but what if he did it on I the just other end? I just flew them like, in, yeah. you know, but. Yeah. Because we used to take tanks, and definitely by boat is a possibility, mm -hmm. but he could have just drove them through a bunch of small towns. Kidding. <sighs> kidding but there were tanks there because it was on tv so it had to be real could have built them there i suppose well i don't know if they have any kind of oh you mean bring the parts there and then put it together mm. maybe but it would be just as expensive like if you to wanted to sneak whole... it in or oh <laughs> like not yeah just ship them ups yeah down. yeah <laughs> it's a tank fender just box of screws <laughs> fine <laughs> just let it go it's not important are they good screws because I'm willing to drive down there and get them if they're good screws I'm oh. tired of crappy screws and I get so bemused that being in the United States all the attention we give to like sometimes I'm not gonna lie and I'm sorry I forget about Canada yeah I do because too. it's not like bombarded we're yeah. not bombarded with it like yeah. um and then, of course, everyone's like, I want to go to Ireland or African Safari, but Australia, the exotic, you know, place on the other side of whatever it is. But no one ever talks about, like, Central America or South not, America much. Not in our area, no, for sure. So there's a bounty out on that Venezuelan dictator. <laughs> is there? Uh-huh. I didn't know that. 
Like how much is it? Mm, I want to say ten million dollars. It may be a hundred thousand. I don't know. It was a one. I mean, I just zeros. got my stimulus <laughs> check. We can get there. Yeah, it was put up by the United States too. <laughs> Find this I guy can't speak the money. language. I don't know how to maneuver, but if anybody were to find him, it would be me in a grocery store in the banana aisle. <laughs> I don't know why bananas, but. And I would look at the picture and be like, he looks so familiar. Yes, that's and right. So you would like be talking to him while I was in the bathroom day, you know? and I have no clue yeah. it was him. And yeah, then I would good. come out and be like, oh my goodness, mm-hmm. you found him. Man. Give up. You know what I'm sitting here thinking? What? I think if we wrap up this podcast, I'm going to order us some food from Boomerang. Oh, that's right. They do have that, that app now. Good. Yeah, that and does sound, sound good. good. We like their missing those days. Uh, fried piccolos. Yeah. It's like a 50s diner, mm-hmm. and we go down there on Mondays and eat. Yeah. Um, and... Uh, we ordered. We walk in and they give us coffee and piccolos right off, and then mm. we decide if we want more than that or not. But yeah. it's nice. It is nice. I think I'm gonna do it. That sounds good. Just do it. Just do it. Are we done? I think so. Okay, that no. was a good one. Going for the button. Bye, guys. See you next time.